Happy Juneteenth. I literally just shit my pants. Hear me? Happy Mother Tuesday. A Cheeto eyeshadow palette. Once I get out in that air, I want you to follow them back. Here they go in your DM. Hey, pretty lady. Didn't want her mom to know that she was having sex or whatever. She claimed she was still a virgin. Out of range, keep it digital, but I wanna be bold with it. Don't care we told about it. Wow, baby, got a hold on it. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Happy Juneteenth. It is Monday and it's Juneteenth, and I am headed to work. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're going to treat this like an actual holiday at our workplace because I don't even know if they rec recognize it. Because they haven't sent no emails out saying this office is going to be closed or this office is going to be closed or nothing. Like they do all the other holidays, you know? So I think I'm going to treat this like a regular holiday and only stay for four hours. But welcome back to my channel. My name is Christy. If you're new here, hey girl, hey. So anyways, y'all, uh, yesterday was Father's Day. What did y'all, how did y'all celebrate? Did y'all cook for y'all's man? Did y'all take them out to eat? Did y'all give them gifts? Um, if you watched my previous vlog, you know um, that South Padre Island trip was babe's gift. But I wanted to actually do something on Father's Day, so I took him for breakfast. I uh, brought dinner so he wouldn't have to cook because y'all know my way of cooking is what? Going out to eat or picking something up. So I did both. So kudos to me. <laughs> But anyways, we spent some time yesterday together watching our, you know, first 48 and live PD, what we normally would watch. And that was our uh, Father's Day child. He don't like to really do nothing unless he just want us to be around him. That's it. So, I was around him while I was editing. And I got that video out this morning. Uh, so, go watch it. It's... It's, it's, enter it's entertaining but my quality of my camera I don't know what setting I got it on or had it on for that video but girl it looks horrible <laughs> I'm going to have to figure out my settings on my phone child but anyways y'all oh my god I'm hungry I didn't bring my coffee I left the house today at 6.30 6.30 I had to pump gas left the house at 6.30 and I am just at the halfway point. Okay, y'all. I guess my release of information person is not going to be here. I don't blame them. It's a damn holiday and I'm here. So I don't blame them. Unless she's coming in later. I don't know. Normally she would beat me here. So she might be off. Y'all. Just combo hit every time. Oh my God. So freaking good. I got the vanilla creamer and the hazelnut creamer and I mixed it together. But this just, this sweet and salty mix. Oh my God. So now I am. Checking my emails, checking all these Teams messages. I don't know how my. I don't know. I see that she left the discharges on my um on my desk which I asked her to do if she had time she didn't have to but she did it so hopefully oh girl I am praying that she got everything together I am praying so now that she's focusing only on the birth certificates I just do the scanning and then the days that she's not here I do the birth certificates and the scanning so I guess that's how that's going to work. And then we're supposed to be hiring somebody else. I don't know when. 
but it's gonna be soon i'm just i'm just waiting on this to load up so i can see how many babies i have to do well she's supposed to be coming in today so at 10 heart hours are i guess 10 from 10 to whatever time child So, and I like it when the window is closed because I won't get all these extra, all these extra questions to have me, you know, have me to stop my work to go and help them and do all this stuff. So when the window is closed, when the release of information person ain't here, sometimes it goes a lot that will quieter for me. She handles it very well, but when it comes to like the medical records part of it, there's a lot of times when people come in asking questions and she don't know because she she just do she just releases the medical records. She don't do nothing. No birth certificates, no scanning or nothing. So when the, when that window is closed, it's mm -mm. nursery. Girl. I only see one baby. But I see three moms. So I don't think they've had their baby. The two moms haven't had their babies yet. But let's see if this parent is married. Please let this parent be married. Please. Oh, she speaks Spanish. Wait a minute now. We have a little um, um, Spanish interpreter or whatever interpreter device that we have to take up there i haven't used it yet because i'm always so grateful with the nurses up there they always help me out when it comes to that stuff they always just oh chrissy i can do it so it's like um so well some some nurses will go in there and do like the interpretation or you know get the little thing the uh what you call it damn thing language interpreter or whatever it is like I said, I never used it, so they they can just push a little button, and a person will come on to. I want sometimes when this happens, the father can speak really really good English. So I'm hoping that's the case, or she has somebody in there to you know help her out. I normally will. We don't supposed to change the um, the birth work the birth worksheet to Spanish, but I sometimes do that so it can help the parents out because. I don't feel like talking to the interpreter because there's too many questions to be answered. <laughs> so, what I do, what I think I'm going to do, if she don't speak no English and if she don't have anybody in there to help her, I'm just going to change that form to Spanish. Change all her documents to Spanish. Some, we have some, like the pamphlets, we have that in Spanish. We have like the surveys and stuff in Spanish. Um... The legal rights and responsibility, but the actual birth worksheet that they have to fill out is in English because, you know, once they write, sometimes we ain't going to know what it means. But I Google it. <laughs> like, this mean this? Oh, okay. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and get all the information. You know what? This ain't my job right now. Mmm. <laughs> the new person's supposed to be doing this, so I shouldn't even worry about it. But I, she probably going to have a problem with the person speaking Spanish, so I will probably, you know what, let me help over, I'll help over that. All right, so um, let me get my stuff together. Go fill my water bottle up, go get my charts, and get started. I don't focus at all. You hear me? It is 2.30, um, and I'm here by myself. <laughs> Co-worker emailed and said she was feeling sick when she woke up. She emailed around 10.30, 10.40, and said she was sick. So, yeah. But, yeah, so she didn't come in. So, hopefully, she said she'll be in for sure tomorrow. So, child, i just been really lollygagging. I ain't, I, I ain't been focused at all today. I've been moving so freaking slow. 2.30 and I just went upstairs to go get the charts. I haven't even started on them. I'm still working on these surgery charts. Girl, I've been lollygagging. And then somebody from last week that was supposed to come in for to do, um, sign the birth certificate, her and the daddy, 
They didn't come last week. They wanted to come today. This window was closed, so the front, front desk person had to uh, message me on Teams saying somebody was here for the birth TV. I was like, who is it? <laughs> she should have came last week, like I said. But anyways, I got it done. So, now I am just trying to finish up prepping and scanning these charts. But yeah, I haven't, like I said, not focused at all today. I done filled out an application. Maybe two. Joey done sent me some um, jobs that he's seen. It's just, I'm just not focused at all. Do y'all ever get like that where you just feel like you're just moving so slow? Like you ain't focused on your work or nothing. You just here. That's how I feel, child. I guess it is the Monday blues. It is. Y'all, <laughs> when I tell you, I literally just shit my pants. I passed the police officer. I was coming this way or whatever. He was coming this way. And he was on a motorcycle. And the speed limit is 30. And I was doing like 40. And as soon as... Oh, girl. As soon as he passed me, he turned on his lights. I was like, oh, motherfucker. <laughs> My, oh, what is going on? But yeah, he passed me and I was like, oh my God. My heart just started beating real fast. I was like, I can't do another ticket now. Damn, I can't. Because that's where I got my ticket at first. <sighs> so I had started getting my stuff together. Because he had to turn the lights on and turn around. He on a motorcycle now. He done turned around, so I just started slowing down. He was behind somebody, and they wouldn't get over. So, But as soon as they got over, he got behind, he, behind them. And I was like, I kept looking at my rearview mirror. I was like, oh, he went for me. This 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 wasn't for me. Girl, <laughs> I literally shit my pants. I was like, fuck. But thank God. Lord, forgive me for cussing. But Lord, thank God. I can't afford another ticket. Oh. <sighs> Got my head hurting. That's how much I was like, shit, shit. <laughs> you know how you just be like, damn. Another bill. Because I think I had to pay like 200 and some dollars for that damn ticket. <sighs> Got my hair hurt, my sugar, my, not sugar, my pressure up. Whew. I don't know why they'd be doing this to me. It's not that I'm scared of the police. I'm just scared of that damn ticket. Trying to get no money to be hashing out like that for no damn ticket. Whew, I need to take a breather. I ain't got no more coffee. Let me see. Let me see if I got a little sip or something to calm me down. Mm. But yeah, y'all. <laughs> oh, Lord. Happy Tuesday. Hear me? Happy Mother F Tuesday. Hey, y'all. Happy Wednesday. It is hump day. I am off of work in Walmart picking up some things. And child, I ran across this. A Cheeto eyeshadow palette. Girl. Look at this. Seriously. Seriously. Now see. <laughs> now they coming up with anything now. Cheeto eyeshadow palette. But I'm also coming in here for my um protein um silk milk because uh Javi coffee sent me some coffee to review and I'm also um I need a clear glass because child all my glasses are colored I probably should have went to a dollar tree would been the cheapest but I wanted like the one stop shop because I needed some milk a clear little cute glass and I think I already got like the syrup the, the syrup to put in it because I'm gonna make like an iced coffee so, I probably should have went to Dollar Tree. Because I don't even see no cute selections. I mean, they ain't got to be all fancy, but I just want a clear glass or mug or something. Okay. And are these the only ones that have? 
Like really? These only want I don't even see the mug. I guess they done ran out of cute little mugs, clear mugs or something. I don't know. <clears throat> like, where are the clear glasses? I don't need these colors. What is going on with Walmart? And then it is hot as shit in here. Oh my God. It is hot. It is humid. It's about to rain. It's just a hot ass mess. And I don't understand why all of these, every establishment that I go into since it's been summer and hot as fuck, well, whatever. I don't know if the air ain't working or what, but child, it is hot in Walmart. Mm. But anyways, y'all, I'm headed home. I probably should have been stopping by to get my nails done. It's right there. I'll wait. But I also ordered this wig, y'all, from I don't know what's the name of the hair company. But I've been I seen them on Instagram and, and the girl that was uh reviewing it or whatever. Her, the wig was pretty cute. It was 180 density. I need that 180 or 200 density because my hair need to be big because my head is big. So, it looked like it was a thick texture. Uh, I think it's, I forgot, I, I don't know how to say the name of the company. U-L-O, it started with a U, I'll put it across the screen. But they had like a good sale, I think that, um... The regular price of that wig was like 300 and something dollars if I'm not mistaken and I got it for 119 and I ordered it yesterday yesterday and I got the email saying that it's shipped and it's is in transit or something I'm like it's in transit already I guess so I guess I'll be getting it tomorrow I don't know but yeah it looked like it was cute it's a wavy wig 18 inches not the kinky curly coily whatever you want to call it wig it's a wavy one so child and it ain't amazon so you know i ain't gonna be able to take it back if i don't like it or get my money back i don't know how the return policy is i probably should have checked that before i um ordered a damn thing so we shall see it looked cute on the model now and when she brushed it out and when she put the uh products on it and everything it looked cute but girl we gonna see hey y'all good morning it is thursday and i am headed to work i don't know if my hair gonna look like this when i get off but right now it's looking all right y'all know when it when I, once i get out in that air I walk to the dog on um, in the building. Y'all know my hair gonna be like this, so we gonna see. I put I use some of that wax stick that I bought from the beauty supply store. From is it olive oil? Olive something, child. I use some of that, and I don't know why everything tends to have a white cast on my hair. Maybe it's my hair. Because every kind, everything I put on my hair, a gel, a wax, any damn thing, it leaves damn white cast. So I'm like, what the hell is going on? Do I need, do I need not to use this stuff? Because it's irritating. Gosh. Maybe the one that I got was, maybe I should have got the other one that was so viral on TikTok. But I went by the, um, uh, the suggestion of the, um. Uh, I about to say the birth registry. The girl at the register. She told me it, the one that I picked up was the TikTok, TikTok one. But she prefers the one that I bought. So now, <laughs> I had to put some more oil on it. Because I'm like, why does this stuff leave the girl? I don't know. I don't know. And I do not know. You hear me? <sighs> but y'all, yesterday at work, I was so unfocused. Do you hear me? It started again yesterday. 
Monday I was unfocusing to, well, what had happened was, <laughs> when I went in, I was focused to work and all that stuff. I think it was around 10-ish, I was upstairs doing a birth certificate, and uh, some parents walked in, I heard my name, I was, I was way in the back, but they were at the nurse's station, I heard my name, I heard... Uh, is Christy here or, or another birth registered to do the birth certificate? And when I heard that, I was like, the fuck? <laughs> so I walked out, I was like, I heard my name, I heard my name. She was like, your, your ears must have been ringing. I said, I heard my name. Now what the hell is going on? And she was like, we had our baby on the second. Second meaning um, I wasn't here. And we haven't heard anything from anybody yet. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'm in the middle of doing a birth certificate right now. So if you want to either, I told her, or I asked where they married. And she was like, yeah. I was like, I can either go ahead and start on it and email you the um, stuff so you can verify that everything is correct and you can sign. Or you can wait until I come back downstairs. She asked me how long, they asked me how long it would take. I was like, yeah, it will take probably 10 minutes or so. Just give me your number and I'll just, you know, call you once I'm downstairs. So y'all know when I go upstairs to do birth certificates, I do scanning as well. I go to all the units and do the scanning. So that was my thinking. But being that I had to do the damn birth certificate, I had to go downstairs, do the birth certificates, and then I was like, try, I might as well just take my break. Let me go fix me something to eat, you know, go on lunch and take my break. And then I didn't even want to go back upstairs to do, finish the scanning, so I did. I was like, well, I can start on these charts down here, the surgery and the ER charts, I can finish those. But around 1 o'clock, 1.15ish, I just completely stopped working. I stopped. I moved everything off my desk to the side. And I just started swiping my phone. I just got unfocused. I was just, I, I was over it. Just over it. You hear me? I said, like, I ain't doing no more work today. So hopefully I prayed. I was like, Lord, just give me the strength to stay focused today and not be so damn. See? See what I'm talking about? Lord, forgive me. But yeah, I prayed and I was like, just keep me focused today, Lord. Just keep me focused because I, I got so much to do. And I could have did it yesterday. But today is a new day, you know. We're going we're gonna to get to work and we're going to work. You hear me? We're going to just, hey, y'all. I'm just getting off. Well, not just getting off. I've been off about a good 45 minutes an hour. Ooh, every time I get on this camera, I'm burping. But damn. <laughs> Anyways, I stopped by Dollar Tree to get me like these little cute little mugs for my uh, Javi coffee. Um... These cute little mugs. I got four. Well, actually two. I'm lying. Got two. Because I have big ones, but I just don't have like the little small ones. But anyways, I stopped by there and got those because I'm ready to try this coffee that everybody's been raving about. My YouTube friends, Instagram been advertising it and YouTube short. Just I've been seeing them everywhere. Seeing it everywhere, so I'm ready to try it. Um, I think I got some syrup at the house, but it's chocolate. I would rather have caramel but or vanilla, but that's fine. Chocolate chocolate will do. I got whipped cream, whipped cream at the house, too. I got my almond milk. And then I can just throw some... Uh, you know what? I think I do have caramel, don't I? But I can just throw some whipped cream and some cinnamon on top and make a little cute little ice iced coffee. Anyways, y'all use my code Christy68221. I think that's what it is. I'll put it across the screen. And yeah, I'm ready to try that. And then I ended up just getting some little blue kitchen towels. Child, I forget how much Dollar Tree has in there. I wish I can just stay for a little while, but it's like I'm ready to come home. I'm just getting all of it's like... And then I wasn't at the one uh, down the street from my house. I was at the one in the county over. So it's like, girl, get your ass home before you uh, run into all this other traffic. You hear me? So, yeah, I'm headed home now. And then, uh, this is why I got on camera, y'all. I had... Okay, with TikTok. I used, I used to be on TikTok all, all the time. 
and I probably could, could have more followers than I have now but I stopped I will stop you know I wasn't being consistent anymore it's been it's been yeah it's been a while since I actually just stayed on there and just start following people. you know how you want to follow people when they follow you back or whatever it's been a while since I did that I will just post like whatever I post on YouTube I will post it on TikTok oh well, anyways my point is it's like when people follow you you have the common courtesy to follow them back because they took the time out to just follow you you know giving you some um followers and giving them some followers so you follow them back girl i need to get these nails done this don't make no sense hair strange is in between anyways so you just take the time out to follow them back that's my point you follow them back but why come why come all the time <laughs> A dude will follow you and you just follow them back because, like I said, you just, they follow you. They took time out to follow you. You follow them back. And that's what I was doing every time. Well, not every time or not every man that's on there. But most of the time, as soon as you follow them back, here they go in your DM. Hey, pretty lady. How, how is your day? How you doing? It's like... Dude, I didn't even look at your page. I just followed you because you followed me back. Nothing, don't take nothing personal. Don't take it serious. I'm just being friendly just because you follow me and I'm following you back. I don't, I don't, uh, I ain't in your DM talking about, hey, handsome. Or, hey, cutie pie. I just follow you back. I don't need... <laughs> Why do people do that? It's like, damn. <sighs> Child. <laughs> and then they see that you post your husband, your boyfriend, or your significant other, and they still, still be in your DMs. They don't like the pictures with your husband on there. You know, it's like, damn. Girl, I, I don't understand. I just don't understand. Y'all. Girl. <laughs> I just made me a dog on iced coffee with Javi Coffee. Y'all use my discount code Christy68221. I think that's the code. I'll put it across the screen. But girl, this is good. This is definitely good. Yeah. You tell me I ain't got to go to a uh, doggone Starbucks. I can make my own damn coffee. Oh. I put the chocolate syrup. Whipped cream. Some cinnamon. I use my um, almond protein milk. And I use the Dunkin' Donuts um, creamer. And that's it's some ice. Oh my God. Oh, this is really good. <laughs> Why is the lighting off like this? What is going on? But yes, y'all, happy Friday. I let Joey um, taste it. He was like, oh, that mug ain't gonna fit in your car. I was like, what you trying to say? <laughs> Basically, he was trying to say he wanted it because I ain't make him none. I just made me one. Mm. I don't think I uh, gave myself enough uh, ingredients because this I need some more milk. I actually just need some more, but that was really good, y'all. Shout out to Javi. Um, what is this on my shirt? But anyways, y'all, like I said, it is Friday. I'm, I am headed to work. The last day of the week, Lord, have mercy. Okay, y'all, I am, of course, at work. And I've been watching little clips of on this YouTube, on YouTube about this girl who was complaining of back pain or whatever yeah. to her mom or whatever and her mom took her to the doctor or to a hospital to see what was going on the girl goes to the bathroom has a baby mm -hmm. has a baby and then she put the baby in the garbage bag well in a garbage bag and then she puts the baby in the trash with a new trash liner over on top of the baby so nobody wouldn't find it goes back into the room where her mom and the nurses are 
and just act like it was normal until I guess housekeeping must must have found the trash can and realized there was a baby in there and then after that everybody starts coming in questioning her she said she didn't know she was pregnant and she was claiming that she was still a virgin to her mama and of course her mama was pissed she was like Lexi you should have told me I mean you have a whole full-term baby then she tries to wipe everything up in the bathroom they said it was like smears of blood all over the bathroom whatever she tried to clean up her I guess make try to make make it seem like she ain't had no baby like and then I guess her mom was under the impression that she just had a miscarriage but no she had a full-term baby and tried to cover it up and she claimed the baby wasn't breathing when she when she had it girl this story's getting interesting I've just been looking at different clips on YouTube and child what is going on I think her name was Alexi like something the girl was 18 but she didn't want her mom to know that she was having sex or whatever she claimed she was still a virgin girl I don't have y'all checked out the story I'll link it below but child this is this is a mess okay y'all I am stuck in traffic the, yeah, I'm inching on inching on but I am headed home well trying to head home I'm, I'm down the street from the job <laughs> But anyways, I'm still watching that um, the girl that threw the baby away. Girl, I'm on the. I guess this is the, this is the nurse interview. I think this or the housekeeping. I think this is the nurse interview. And they said when the girl went to the bathroom, they kept hearing her flush the toilet to the point where the nurse had to go to the uh, knock on the door and say, "Hey, are you okay?" And the girl responded like, "Yeah, I'm okay." So the nurse was like, "Um." Uh, if you need any help, just there's a call light button in there. So if you need anything, just push the call light button. She was like, okay. So when she walked away, they kept hearing her flush the toilet and flush the toilet. So I guess it's the nursing manager or the nursing supervisor came over there and knocked on the door. And he was like, ma'am, are you okay? Uh, we need to get in here. And she was like, she didn't say nothing. So the nursing manager responded, well, how, uh, not screen, but um, told the nurse uh, such and such do you have a key to this um, this bathroom and she was like yeah so she went and grabbed the key and as they were about to enter the the uh, bathroom because they felt like something was going on because they kept hearing the, the toilet flush and when they about to put the key in that's when she opened the door and they seen blood everywhere they seen blood splatter on the walls they seen blood splatter how she smeared the uh, blood on the floors trying to clean it up it looked like and I'm still in the middle of it so I think I'm like on minute five or something but how they did not this girl must have the pelvic the pelvis of a saint or she just made a stone for her not to scream as she was having this baby scream or holler or whatever like for them not to even hear that they can hear the flushes but not girl I never had a baby but I would be screaming my ass off <laughs> trying to push the baby out so girl I'm just you know I'm just filling y'all in as I go you know <laughs> But since I am stuck in this traffic, let me continue to watch this. Okay. Mm. All right, y'all. I guess I can close out this week's vlog. But before I do, girl, I got a doggone uh, email for an interview. You hear me? <laughs> I, You know, I've got my resume on Indeed and ZipRecruiter and somewhere else. And you know, you can just click apply. A quick a quick apply. And that's what I've been doing for the past two or three or four, child, two or three days or whatever. And I th I'm not for sure if this company is a rehabilitation company so or center or whatever clinic. And I don't know how they work. It's an HIM tech position, but y'all know I'm so used to doggone hospital medical records department. I don't know how the clinics work when it comes to medical records. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and look at what I applied for and what exactly do they do. Because if it's a front desk per uh, person, a girl... I don't know if I can do the front. I, I ain't doing no front desk. Uh, mm -mm. I ain't doing no custom service. So I'm going to have to go back and look at what I applied for. 
she asked me what times what time I can come and interview for her because it's an in person interview. And I was like, girl, anytime, Monday to Friday. <laughs> so I need to see what she's uh, I, she have she hasn't replied back. But girl, it's so close to home. Girl's like a ten minute, probably like a five or six, seven minute drive. You hear me? <sighs> but I can't do no front desk clerk. I can't do that. That's something I I, mm -mm, I don't think my brain can handle that because I can I can barely handle the dog on babies and the baby mamas and the baby daddies. So I'm gonna go back and look at exactly what the position uh, entails. So yeah, I'll let y'all know but i am headed home so i'm going to end this week's vlog weekly vlog and i will see y'all